There's a time when Jace was in Standard. Jace the Mind Sculptor and Jace Balaran were both in Standard. Or, yeah, I guess it was Standard, wasn't it? Or was it Extended? When... No, it was Extended! If I Because uh, original Jace was Lorewind Block, and then Jace the Mind Sculptor was Worldwake. So it had to have been Extended then. When you could play on turn three, Jace Balaran as sort of your seal of Jace. Because the, the Planeswalker rule at the time was you could have no more than one. Each player could have no more than one of a Planeswalker. And when another one hits the field with the same subtype, they both blow up. So you play your three-drop Jace to stop their four-drop Jace. That's how stupid that's, that Jace was. Jace was so good that it made Jace Balaran immediately minusing to draw you a card a thing. All right. Could you tell me how the result of that you die roll just went? Okay, cool. Because I missed that. Um, we keep this. You were too busy with story. I was too busy with my story, <laughs> indeed. Now, I will admit, though, that was before I... It wasn't technically before I was playing, but it was during my hiatus from the game. Um, I was not playing at a time when Jace the Mind Sculptor was legal in... in extended. In magic, actually. Well, in standard. Yada, yada. I got back in right before uh, Scar's block rotated. So, uh, I think M13 must have been the newest set. This was right before my first limited event was the Return to Ravnica pre-release. And I was so proud of myself because I came in second <laughs> out of eight people. <laughs> you know, it was sealed, so it didn't have to be eight people. It wasn't like a draft pod. All right. We're we're keeping, and I'm going to show the camera what's going on here. Ooh, this is nice. This is real nice. Hello, hello. Oh, I'll keep. Okay. <clears throat> Blah. <clears throat> cool. That's it. Past turn. <laughs> That's all I got. God the shrine. Thought seeds. Go ahead. Okay. Or not. Uh, draw. Pass turn. That's interesting. If you didn't do it on turn one, I'm trying to figure out what this is. Alright, fetch twice. Mm -hmm. Get an island. Get an island. Remand. Okay makes a lot of sense here because, insert thought sees again, got to draw first obviously, off yeah. the remand. I mean you can cast it again, you know it's going to happen. And this may seem a little bit awkward, and that's because it is. Just a quick sec, I'm going to curve them for you. Hey, there we go. Serum Vision, Search for Escanta, Dictative Crucifix, Time Warp, Temporal Trespass. <laughs> Alright. Obviously not on the field, just for clarification. That island is not on the field. I was, since you didn't cast it on turn one, I was anticipating a turn two Bitter Blossom. That's the reason I was holding it up like that. What are you afraid of? Take the dictate. Yep. Fair enough. And that's your turn? Yep. Okay. And then, for people that don't know, I play with my hand revealed as much as I can in a game like this. Not just in a game like this. Just... 
Okay. What do I feel is right here? Serum visions? Ooh. Okay, I guess that's a thing. That was, uh, not how that card is supposed to work. That doesn't give away what I just had. Utterly. Hmm. Going to say probably you. Probably. Erm, Ermigerd, Ermigerd. Well, definitely not you. You're, you're bottom. No doubt. I see you over there. <sighs> yada yada yada. Yes, that was a JoJo reference. <laughs> okay. I think in this case. We're going to go top-bottom and make sure I haven't rotated the cards accidentally. And then... Search for Escanta. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Alright. Cool. I will take this. Phyrexian Arena, okay. Go ahead. Nice. Alright, trigger. Mm -hmm. Gee, I wonder what this card is. Kept it for a reason. Yeah, I guess we're going to Serum Visions draw. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, hey. And spoiler alert, that's in the yard. It's about to be, anyway. Close enough. Um... gonna say bottom bottom serum visions mm -hmm. hey okay neat That's a, that's a decent conundrum, I guess. Given what you're doing, this is probably not a great card, and I probably shouldn't get greedy with it, but I'm going to. And then I will pass the turn, my friend. Unless you can remove that in your main board, I'm gonna get this can to the sunken ruin out of the, out of the way. Uh, the new cards are Temporal Mastery, right where it needs to be. So you have a and Hallowed Fountain. So you have three extra turn spells. Which would you like to take? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and then again, Hallowed Fountain. Ay, ay, ay. Again, reveal the rest of the hand, as you do. What else you got? Good. Okay. Upkeep. 
I still like the card on top of my deck, so no fetch. I'm going to look at it, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to transform, search for Azkanta. Ta-da! There we go, there it is. Alright, cool. Azkanta the Sunken Ruin is online. And I have drawn my... Not drawn my card. Oh, there it is, okay. Just making sure. I had a, I had a moment when I wasn't sure. I'm going to play a Hallowed Fountain, untapped, mm -hmm. roll me down to 16, I'm going to play a Baral, Chief of Compliance, and you know what this In response to uh -oh. the Baral, uh -oh. blow the Hallowed Fountain. Uh, in response to that, uh, activate as Canto the Sunken Ruin, mm -hmm. look at the top four cards, so it's Impulse. Reveal a... you may reveal a non-creature, non-land. So it's not quite impulse. Wait. Uh-oh. You have to fetch first. <gasps> You're right, I do have to fetch first. Okay, no, that's... that's crude. Well, I don't think I knew the identity of any cards, but it doesn't matter. It's still the right thing to do. It's still the right thing to do. Okay. There we go. Good catch. Thank you. He is... he is correct. Alright, and he's cutting me off my white source. So that's a thing. Something I have to look out for. Okay, cool. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm on four hours of sleep. And my stomach is doing loop-de-loops on me. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Mm -hmm. Put them back on the bottom in any order. Yeah, there's an order to that. Not that it matters. Yeah, it might matter, actually. It might matter. <laughs> but once we start taking extra turns, you never know. Okay, so there goes Hallowed Mountain. Mm -hmm. Rip. Rip and Pepperoni. And, uh, pass turn. No, actually, while you're thinking about that, I will say for you and the audience, the reason that I keep my deck turned sideways like this is actually because of miracles. I I find it easier to part to f reveal it in a slight way when I'm holding it sideways. Bitter blossom. There's bitter blossom. Um, past turn, stop on upkeep. All right. Um, yeah. Pass. Um, search for Ascanta, mm -hmm. Ascanta the Sunken Ruin, whatever. One, two, three, four. There is an out. This is not it. Okay. So I'm going to reveal Dictative Crucifix. Mm -hmm. And. While I'm at it, I'm just going to get this island and start shuffling. Obviously, I was digging for a remand, because mm -hmm. with Baral out, I could cast the remand in response on one mana. But, alas, it was not meant to be. Alas. Hello! Hello! Well, okay, let's keep shuffling. Let's just keep shuffling, just keep shuffling. Gotta keep on shuffling. All right. Cool. Boink. <clears throat> okay. That's, uh, untimely. Pass turn. Let's take you down to ten. Let's get our RK post token going on. Now, the IRL strats, taking off my socks. No, don't worry. Mm. 
I'm sorry, you have five cards in hand? Yes. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, it could have four. Um. A sneaking suspicion there's definitely a right answer. I think it's you. Right, Bitter Blossom versus Exhaustion. Go ahead. Alright. Um, hmm. Is there any reason not to jam Jace here? Because Jace brainstorming beats Liliana's minusing. But then again, you have Phyrexian Arena, so that's going to just be a wash anyway. No, no, we, we jam Jace here. Wait a second. No, this is correct. Okay. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Better than all. JJJ is the mind sculptor, better than all. Guy Reach Sanitarium, and you know what that does, right? Mm -mm. Okay. It's legendary, I can either add colorless, or I can pay two and tap it, so that. Mm -hmm. And then we'd each draw, then discard, so we'd loot. Uh, both of us would. Uh, zero. Now, I, if you need to memorize my hand, go for it, because mm -hmm. I'm about to, yeah. All right, so draw three. Put two back. Make a hundred percent sure I ordered that correctly. Thank goodness I did. Okay. Now, <laughs> uh, I will pass the turn to you. You'll drop to eight. I'm going on the my opponent beats themselves through bitter blossom Brexian arena plan. No, no, I am not. when you are. <laughs> Island Damnation, yep. Mm. When the taking turn player is discarding lands. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's important, Jay. <laughs> That's... Smack Jace for one. Okay, okay. Jace is at two now. That's important. Mm. <laughs> souls. Okay, souls are good. I I hear that they are. Uh, Hot Haunter. Fetch. Yes. Put you to seven. Or is it five? Okay, no, it's seven. seven. Flashback Lingering Souls, I'm guessing. Yes. Whee! I got you on this one. It's even flavorful. Well, I guess they are white even though that's the black flashback. <laughs> so, four haunters. There we are. Alright. And, uh, End of turn. Flash in dictate. Yep. We know what this is about to do. On my turn. Ah, I don't have to reveal the second one. Alright. So, uh... One. Two... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, so Temporal Mastery. Mm -hmm. Gonna take an extra turn. It exiles on resolution. Rip. Yep. Sad. Sad day. Um, okay, so that's fun. Now that that's going on, we can be... We can do some more shenanigans, I guess. We're going to go... One, two, three... Four... We are not. We're going to first. Um, 
Which way do I want to start taking this? We're going to do Jace Brainstorm again. Um, I really don't feel comfortable. No, no, no. We're going to plus myself. We're going to plus myself. I get an extra turn and I get two draws. So we're going to see what's coming off the top next. That's fine. I'll keep that. Now we go Primal Amulet. You know what this does. Uh -oh. Instants and sorceries I cast cost one less to cast. Mm -hmm. and whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, I get to put a charge counter on it. If there are four or more charge counters, remove those and transform it. It transforms mm -hmm. into Primal Wellspring, which makes one man of any color, and if it's used on instant sor or sorcery, I copy it. Okay. So it gets, it gets ugly real quick. Um, okay, cool. I'll take my extra turn. All right, Geo. So that's draw number one. Dictate is number two. Prairie Stream is the land for turn. Uh, easily enough islands to make that work. We're going to cast one, two, three, four, five, four. <laughs> that's how that works. Uh, we're going to cast Time Warp. Mm -hmm. So, one extra turn in the bank. Jace Vren's Prodigy. We definitely know what this guy does. Alright, I'm going to plus myself again. Go up to six. I, I like that card. I'm going to keep that card. By the way, let's not forget. You actually need to have your charge counters represented, buddy. Okay, I like to go to my next extra turn. Nope. Alright, cool. Um... For the sake of practice, if you let me go all the way through, I'd appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, drawing two off dictate, that's correct. Um, okay, this looks nice. Pretty, so pretty. Um, we'll start with Snapcaster Mage. Mm -hmm. Targeting Time Warp. We're going to Flashback Time Warp to Charge Counters, because it only ke doesn't care about Snapcaster, sadly. Um, so, extra turn in the bank. Going to Loot. Going to put one in. Take one out. It's going to put a Hallowed Fountain down. Transform Baby Jace. Baby Jace becomes Telepath Unbound. Uh, cool. So for my next trick, I'm going to uh, just, do I even need to? Yeah, we're going to plus here. We're just going to plus targeting, I don't care, whichever one of them. We're, oh, neg two now. Yeah. I'm going to look at the top card of my deck again. That sounds nefarious. I'm going to, what's the rest of my hand? I'm going to put that on the bottom. I don't care. I would like to go to my next turn. Hmm. By the way, you are at six. That's that's a thing. What is this stupid Planeswalker rule? <laughs> Flavorfully, this makes a negative amount of sense, and I don't care. All right. Yeah, okay. So drawing two again off Dictate. Um, which way do I want to do this? How's about we... I think we're winning off J... Well, let's see. Jace's ult is exile all cards from target player's library, then that player shuffles their hand into their library. So because he already has a decent board presence, that doesn't automatically win me the game. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I, I need to stay alive longer than that. So uh, we're probably going to win off Telepath Unbound, actually. Given that... It is fine that I'm plussing there. Uh, so given that, we're going to brainstorm Jace. Okay. Put a couple cards back. Gonna put you back and you back in no particular order because uh, we're fine. 
Nathalia Academy. This is the one that if you would make me discard a card, I may instead reveal it and put it on top of my deck. So it doesn't actually get discarded. Still puts me behind, but not the end of the world. Um, we're going to pay four and time warp. Mm -hmm. Add another counter to primal. We're going to plus targeting one of your spirits because why the heck not? And then we're going to cast a dictative crucifix. 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 Dictative crucifix. I'm going to go to my next turn. I know that I'm not going to top a miracle here, but we're going to draw three cards. Even if it's just a fair non-shuffle brainstorm, that's still okay, I'd say. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to brainstorm again. And yes, I'm not attacking with Snapcaster, mate. <laughs> that is true. I am not attacking with Snapcaster. Uh. Uh. Well. Cards that do jack all right here. It's a very technical magic term, jack all. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put those back. We're gonna play a flooded strand. Jace goes off at nine, so we're gonna plus Jace here. Telepath unbound. We're going to. One, two, three, four, three. Cryptic command. Bounce. It, it, the modes are tap down your team and, well, no, it hasn't resolved yet, and draw a card. Fourth goes on Primal Amulet. Primal Amulet transforms. Well, I haven't resolved it yet, so it, it may actually not happen. Uh, Primal Amulet with Cryptic on the stack. Because I can, I can remand it in response to draw a card. Um, but now they cost the regular price if I do that. So we can go 1, 2 to remand it to draw a card. And then we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which is not quite enough. So we're not going to do that, actually. We're going to be content with where we are. By the way, I tapped my mana completely incorrectly. Yes, I know. <laughs> Cryptic command counts blue, blue, blue. These do not work for it. It's confuzzling myself with another card in hand. Okay. So in that case, yeah, we are just going to tap down your team and draw a card. So that is, that is indeed happening. Snapcaster swing in for two. Puts you down to... And it's at you, not at Lily. Puts you down to five. I will... Walk the Eons with Primal Wellspring, and I will sacrifice three islands to buy it back. And that's back in my hand. I have two extra turns in the bank. And so we will see. I have enough. I can play this other Dictate in hand, so that's what we're going to do. This deck is so stupid. What was your first extra turn for that turn? Um... Time warp. Okay. Yeah. I hope to God I haven't messed that up. I am, like I said, on four hours of sleep, but I'm pretty sure I got that part right. Wait. Time warp. It's four, and then you cryptic as well. Uh, time warp was on the previous turn. I'm crypticing on this turn. And then walk the eons, buy back. Yeah, primal so you only got one right now. I, I have two because of primal wellspring. It gets to copy oh, it, so I have, I have two in the mind. bank. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a funny effect. It's uh, it's it's stupid. So if you'd like to cut, by all means, or maybe you already did and I just missed it, because we're having we're we're talking. I can't say we're having fun. That that wouldn't be true. Fun is in this case zero sum. Um, so another dictate. I'm gonna go to my turn, my first turn. There's one more in the bank. And by the way, that. Yeah, I, I've got this in a bunch of ways. So we're going to. Um, 
Yeah, I, I guess we're just going to Jace, Brainstorm, draw three, put a Temporal Mastery back on top of my deck as, as well as a land. So we're just going to do that and save that for next turn, as if we didn't have enough already. And then we're going to play an Island, because why the heck not? Snapcaster Mage swings at you, puts you to three. Um, I'm going to go for as many extra turns as I can. So we're going to Primal Well Spring. Is that spring spring there? Time. Yeah, yeah, that's the right there. If you duplicate and then hit yeah. the So that's, that's how this works. So uh, all three of my Transform cards showed up in this game. Jace, Ascanta, and Primal. Oh, trifecta. Oh, I still mourn the loss of Gitaxian Probe, my friend. As an Infect player, every day. One of my uh, videos, A Journey into the Mind of an Infect Player, I say what I would do for a Gitaxian Probe right now. That was recorded before and published before Gitaxian Probe was banned, but it happened not too long afterwards, so... <laughs> so you'll be on the play, I take it, right? Yeah, yeah fair enough. Let me see if I can... Uh, Miracle into a Temporal Mastery with one land out. Let me see if I can do that again. Ooh, I, I like this. this hand. Oh man. Yeah, <laughs> you and me both. Let's do this. Uh oh. So, obvious shock is obvious. Um, Flooded Strand, Hallowed Fountain Island, Seared Visions, Search, Reman, Commandeer. It's. I have to pitch two blue cards in my hand to cast it for free, and I gain control of a non-creature spell. It's used to break Jace mirrors. It has a few other bits of utility, but it's mostly for Jace. Or a Planeswalker in general. Or, yeah, worst case scenario, a counterspell. Well, there goes that plan. <laughs> oh, whale. Hey, go ahead. Alright. Alright, let's... Miracle, right now. <laughs> Pretty sure it's happened before. Yes, yes, indeed. All right, we're just gonna do it. Serum visions. Yep. All right. Let's uh, let's do this and pass the turn. Cool, cool. Go ahead. Hmm. Flooded Strand. Mm -hmm. mm. You what's started on, here. <laughs> what's on three? I think I should be worried about Arena and Liliana here. I don't think I should play the search just yet. Yeah, we're going to hold... Yeah, pass turn. And I know turn. I'm telling you that, but you see my hand. You know. You know. <laughs> <clears throat> Not telling you anything you can't see right in front of you. The obvious dilemma here. Uh, yeah, given his line so far, I'm assuming he's chock full of higher curve spells, and so playing the search seems wrong. I can't even transform it really soon, so it wouldn't do it wouldn't do that much for me right now. Boink. Such. Yep. 16 into... I mean, I guess your life total kind of matters. We've seen Snapcaster. Life total was technically how it ended last time. I mean, technically. There was also... <laughs> there was also a, a Vryn's Prodigy, a Telepath Unbound, ticking up to mill range. Mm. That's always feel-good time. <laughs> Feel good magic. Here we go. Uh, Lily into a reman? Yeah, Lily into a reman. We gotta fetch first, get an island. But yeah, Lily into a reman. I mean, I guess you kinda have to play it. You have to get it out of my hand. Alright. Boink. Oh, whoa, hello. <laughs> 
I don't know. That definitely doesn't count as style points. So here's the draw off remand. Go ahead. Okay, cool. Ah. Every time. Every time. Why can't I get that? The, uh, the quad time warp. <laughs> time walk. There we go. Quad time walk. Uh huh. Prairie stream. Mm -hmm. Double basics. Yay. Yep. Alright, search. Pass turn. Alright, let's do it again. Or we cast Gideon. Um, just a sec. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that? That's, uh, he comes a 5-5. Five five. I can deal with that, question mark? You're good. Right. Zero. Yep. Tolkien. Go ahead. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Search. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep it. That's fine. Pass turn. The hell, it is not on, on the field, it's in the hand. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Plus Gideon. Hi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a second. We got it. We have an answer for that. We have an answer. We're going to flashback a Snapcaster. Remand. Remand. Yep. Great. And then exile our remand. I'll draw a card. And for seven. Doesn't this... This thing does not have vigilance? No, it doesn't. Uh -uh. Okay. Okay. It's a knight ally, not a knight. Remember the, the Knights of Return to Ravnica block sometimes had Vigilance? I think the one on Slesnia Charm did. Okay. Um. How much of this can I take? I have a sneaking suspicion that if I don't block here, I'm going to lose the Snapcaster anyway to a push. Maybe a path or something. So, I'm tempted to get the block in while I can. And if that's the case, I think I'm supposed to block the 5 here instead of trading. I think. That's, uh, that's curious. Uh, if I block the token and trade, I incentivize him to make a token next turn, but not really, because he puts me on a three-turn clock either way. No, no, because that's 077 seven instead of 555. Five, five. Okay, so Snapcaster to block Gideon is probably the right answer here. I'm going to assume you have a... Sp even though you cited out a bunch of creature removal, actually. Um, well, if I don't block with Snapcaster, am I actually realistically going to get any beats in? Uh, maybe? Maybe is the answer? Alright, I'll take it. Go to 13. Go ahead. Okay. Trigger. Yep. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's bottom that. No, 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 it's Graveyard. Goes in the graveyard. It's a flooded strand. Draw. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's it's the thing. not quite as grind. Not quite. Indeed. Indeed. We're going to fetch anyway. Go to twelve. Get an island. I would like to go to combat. Derp. Ahem. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Time warp! Sure. Woo! Snapcaster beats, go! 
All right, next turn. Search for Azkanta. Right on time. How about... No. <laughs> Gemstone Caverns. Mm -hmm. Draw? Hey, buddy. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Being all fancy. Definitely not supposed to play land first there. Two? Yep. Time warp. Mm -hmm. Take my extra turn. Alright, let's do a price check while we look at the search for Azkanta. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so it's going to transform here. Um. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't. Let's see. What would that put me at? Six lands right now. That transforms seven. I have another land in hand that's eight. And then you. Ah, frick. Ah. Okay. We're going to keep it. Search for Azkanta is going to see that there are plenty. Very technical term. Plenty. And becomes Azkanta the Sunken Ruin. Draw that card. Miko Koro, center of the sea. Jace. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Uh, Jace has a few options here. Jace does not particularly care for any of them. If I want to keep Jace, pretty obviously I think I have to keep the Snapcaster back, and even then I might lose Jace, if you have a removal spell for him. We are going to plus Jace, I would like to Fate Seal you. Mm -hmm. um, I know he has Elspeth in hand. I'm going to let you keep that card. And you're at five. Alright, pass turn. Yeah. Fifth land hype. Oh, hello. Huh? Okay, Snapcaster, I feel for you, buddy. I feel real bad for you, buddy. Um, no, there's not really anything I can do to save you, so we're just going to let that resolve. Sorry, Jace. <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't last too long. Yeah. I, I really didn't expect Path to stay in because it's giving me a land and lands are kind of kind of cool. Uh, but, you know, makes makes sense in cases like those. Fatal Push is the one I was certainly expecting to still see. Um, Zero Gideon? I mean, okay, plus Gideon, plus, right? It's, yeah. it's fair enough. On some Gideons, plus Zero Gideon. is the one that turns him into a dude, so yeah, fair enough. I'm used to Zero. Yeah, no worries. Um, attempt another Elspeth? Uh, Elspeth's good. Uh, plus to target. The token. So it's a 5-5 pl flyer now, right? Yes. Yes. All right, results? Um, token to Jace, Gideon at you. I will take five. Jace, super dead. It's a very technical magic term. And pass turn. End of turn. Dictate. Dictate. Sure. As you do. Okay, cool. So, gotta find it now. Actual, factual now. Alright. Draw off, dictate. Yep. I mean, that's, that's something. I'm not... Super screwed. Okay, what are we at now? Play land. So 
Search for his canta. Mm-hmm. Right. One, two, three, four. Hmm. 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 Oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. I think I'm supposed to take you. I, I am. Pretty darn sure. Pretty darn sure. Okay. Well. It's a dictate. Okay. Yeah, well, I wasn't completely sure yet. That's why I didn't say anything. I was going to let yeah. you resolve before. Yeah, there, more there's another ones. card in here that is a. This is a get me to the wind. The other card is a you don't die. <laughs> so, kind of a kind of a deal there. All right. <clears throat> You're good. Um, I will pass the turn mm -hmm. and hope to God that I'm not dead yet. Um, yep, you, you you get the extra draw too. Yeah, that's correct. I knew that. I was saying if you don't have an answer to block either of these, yeah, then you're dead. Come at me, bro. Kakate koi. Those plus one. Okay. Wee. Um. Oh, Plus, and target. Yep. Okay, so it's Solemn Visitor. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep, that's good. Plus. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Whatever. I'm sorry, I have to. Whatever. And... I'm going to go to combat. Beginning of combat. Mm-hmm. Not done with you yet. I'm going to Giga Drouse. Uh, it has Replicate, Tap Target, Permanent. So it costs one, and for every addition, it costs blue. And for every additional blue, I get to replicate it. I'm cool. going to replicate such that I'm targeting you once, tap you. You once, tap you. And then I think it's right for me to tap the Godless Shrine. Cool. Okay, so... Fog, I guess. Go ahead. End of turn. Dictate of Kufix. Mm -hmm. I will dig my way out of this if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> or I will try anyway. Eh, right on time. Okay. Never. Never right on time. Um, okay. Well, this, this feels good. Primal Amulet. Mm hmm. Time warp. Yep. Yay, trigger. Woo! Okay, cool. Take that extra turn. Alright. Will I ever, ever, ever get the chance? Oh, I just remembered. This is such a bad card against you right now. Because it, uh, I'm not going to cast it, so might as well say. Exhaustion keeps you from untapping your creatures and your lands. <clears throat> <laughs> and Elspeth can go on to Gideon, so it's still lethal, actually. Um, well, I guess that's a thing. Sort of. Uh, Please don't tell me that was sideboarded in. No, no, it's okay. mainboard. <laughs> it is mainboard, my friend. Guy Reach, Sanitarium. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Mm -hmm. Brainstorm me, bro. <clears throat> okay. This is uh, a little awkward. Actually, I'm not done resolving my brainstorm. Don't you worry. How many lands will this leave me? Seven? Lots. Lots of lands. 
Oh, these are so bad. These are so bad. Okay, well, obviously, exhaustion's going right smack there. <laughs> it's a very technical magic term, right smack there. Just so you can draw it next to me? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and then that one's going next. And that means that to... There's Jace. To not utterly get shrecked here, we're going to... Baral, Chief of Compliance, make my stuff cheaper. Walk the Eons, I'm deciding about buyback. Buyback is Sack 3 Islands. I think I have enough lands right now. If I Sack 3, that puts me at 8. I think 8 is okay to keep going from here. So we're going to Sack 3 Islands and buyback Walk the Eons. So you're at 2. I'm going to move to my next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, it's really, really, really easy when you have Jace the Mind Sculptor. That that helps a lot. Um, we're going to do Guy Reach and an Island. Exiled. Right there, buddy. Right there. Okay, since I already have an extra turn, we're going to... How many cards do you have in hand? Four. Four. Um, once again, Jace actually might not quite be enough here. Um, so let me make sure I, I read this correctly. I exile all cards from target player's library, then you shuffle your hand into your library. So, theoretically, if I went off twice with Jace, I could kill you just on the Jace. I, I wouldn't even be able to give you an extra turn. Because I exile your library, your hand becomes your library. Then I exile your library again, and you have nothing to, from which to draw. So if I can do that, if I can go off with Jace twice, then I'll be in okay shape. Okay. So, by the way, no, no actions have been taken since then, so that was still the most recent thing to happen. And that's, of course, from Temporal Mastery. Um... Yeah. <laughs> what on earth are we doing here? Okay, we're we're gonna start off with Serum Visions Trigger you transform into Primal Wellspring. Serum Vision's still in the stack. Mm. I can play a remand for my hand. Remand the Serum Visions. I'd still only be able to draw one card, because the second one won't have a target and therefore won't resolve, so I won't get to draw that card. Or I could just let the Serum Visions resolve here nice and neatly, which is probably what I'll end up doing. That's what I'll end up doing. So, regular Serum Visions draw. Yeah, that's nice. Look at two. Like these two, I, I suppose. Actually, that's pretty silly how, how those two interact with one another. Um, so we're going to keep both of them, which is never something you want to hear. Scry, keep both on top. How about we... Scalding Tarn. We're going to... Walk the Eons, we are not going to buy it back, but we are going to copy it. And so I'll have two turns going on after this. So I have two in the bank, I actually could leave one of those back, uh, because of Baral making it cheaper. One, two, three, four... Okay, so one, two from Temporal Mastery, one from Seer Visions, one, two, three, four... Five. I have Baral, I don't have Primal Wellspring. I, I don't have Primal Amulet, there we go. Okay, so we're, we're correct now. We're finally right about it. Okay, so interestingly here, the way that I understand it is, and I, I'm going to read this again just to make sure, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. When that mana is spent to cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell. 
and you may choose new targets for that copy. Okay, so there are two Walk the Eons on the stack right now. You know where this is going. We're going to remand the one that's an actual card, the actual Walk the Eons. We're going to leave the copy on the stack. Um, I'm going to resolve the remand, add Walk the Eons back to my hand, draw a card from remand. The extra turn Walk the Eons will resolve, and I still have a Walk the Eons in my hand. God! <laughs> I was not supposed to draw that now! I had a temporal mastery I put on top of my deck. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. Well, um, we're gonna Fate Seal, targeting you. I mean, I, I, no. No, that's fine. Okay, now, let's take this seriously, Jay. Slow down. Breathe. You can do this. By the way, Reman costs one off parole. Okay, you can do this, Jay. All right. Focus. Sort them. We're going to draw three cards. One, two, three. Alright. We are going to... Jace, targeting you. Alright. We're going to see what the top card is. You can keep that. And that's the last time I'll be targeting you for a while. Okay, we'll play another land. We're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one less because of Burrall. We're going to do Walk the Eons. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's copied. We're going to do the same trick with Remand again. Where we're going to Remand the original back to my hand. I'm going to draw a card. And then take an extra... There's an extra turn after this one. Okay. Cool. Now, Jace is going to target me. Let's see what the next card is. It's awesome. Uh, we're actually going to keep that on top, because I'm not going to try to do any more draw effects now if I can help it. Just so that I don't lose here. That would not be good. That would not be good. As Evangeline would say, that can't be good. Alright. So, use Jace. Um, I guess we move on to our extra... You know what? You're a you're a creature. It's not much, but something. All right, move to another extra turn. All right. Draw a card. That's one, two, three. Those are not maze. I have to. All right, gonna target me. I like that. Definitely going to have to, in just a second, discard stuff, but that's okay. Brawl into you. You can tell this is my first time seriously playing the deck. Unfortunately. I wish it weren't so, but it is. So, we're going to... One, and there's our copy one going on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, I'd have to f crack here to do all of that. We're going to delve two. Ten, eleven. Temporal trespass, exile it. Two, two turns on the stack now. Two turns going on. Um, go to my next turn. Alright. One, two, three. 
by the way, this is seven cards in hand, so I was okay there. Going to plus targeting you. There's actually another. And I already know what it is. So we don't even have to cast anything now. We have an extra turn in the bank. We will. We will anyway. But we don't. <gasps> Wait a minute. How many cards do you have in your hand? Four. Four. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do I have any effects in this deck that make my opponent draw a card? What's my graveyard look like? Oh god, what does my graveyard look like? Okay. I don't have any dictates in my yard. That means two dictates on the field, two more. If I can put... If I can make him exile... If I can ult him with Jace here, which I am going to do, I'm going to ult you with Jace. Alright, you have four cards. Let's see. How about we... One, two, three, dictate. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. We don't have to do that right now. Alright. We're just going to bank another extra turn here. Extra couple turns. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven off of Baral. Temporal Mastery copied. So I'm going to give myself yet two more extra turns. Um, at this point, I do have to discard stuff. Let's see, I have... Well, no, I don't, because I, I still have more of my turn to go. One, two... Three, fetch, four, I mean, I really actually do need you to cut here. We're going to play another Jace, alright, we're going to brainstorm we're going to dig for that last one. We're going to dig for... Spoiler alert, there's a dictate in my hand. We're going to dig for that last dictate. We're going to put two back. One. Two. About to make myself discard a bunch. Alright. I'm going to discard two exhaustions because actual, factual, useless cards. We're going to discard... A remand because I don't need to do that trick anymore. Except now I have six cards in hand, so we're going to do this. <laughs> All right. Move to my next turn. I have a temporal mastery on top of my deck, which I will proceed to get to in just a second. Whee! So there's that. We're going to copy it because why the ever living heck not? Oh, well, actually, I can just do it off of the primal because Barol, and then draw two more. So is it copied or no? It's copied. Right. Yeah, it's still copied. I don't know why I need this many extra turns, but you never know, I guess. All right. How many cards are left? We're going to brainstorm with Jace. One, two, three. Put two back. Mmm. You two... We're going to fetch. I don't even care if I have any more lands. Okay, there you are. I do, actually. We're going to play a Hallowed Fountain tapped. Alright. Six cards. Yeah, so it, it's... Alright, with six cards left, I'm going to go to my turn. I'm going to draw three cards. Which, okay, so we're going to go to my turn now. You're going to mill yourself. Uh, not quite. You have five turns on stack. I don't... I have to take my extra turns. Yeah, I have to take my extra turns. You're right. You're right. Okay. So, again, first time with the deck. This is hilarious. The idea was supposed to be draw three cards, brainstorm with Jace, Jace to find the last three, put two back, play both dictates, and then make my opponent take a turn, and 
at that point, he draws himself out with four cards plus his natural draw. I, having never done this before, did not realize the two-edged sword of giving myself a bunch of extra turns. But, alas, there you go. If I had not done that, if I had just kept plussing Jace, I don't think I quite could have gotten there. I, I don't think I had quite... I think I had too many turns. Alright, this is why we practice. This is why we practice. Alright, well, now I know. Knowing is half the battle, G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Alright, cool. I'll be on the play. Alright, my friend, this is why we play. Now, you had just talked to me about... I, I have seen Elixir of Immortality as a way to keep yourself from milling out, and it's also just incidental burn hate, which is a bad match for this deck. I did not remember Laboratory Maniac when I was building the, the deck, sideboard or mainboard. So, that's something that I should consider as well, I think. By the point, by the time you get to Laboratory Maniac that far in, you have so much counter magic, you're not usually worried about your opponent's removal. So, we're gonna try it this way. I'll be on the play, of yep. course. Hello. I'll keep. I can't uh, not keep I'll this. Keep as well. Alright. Pass turn. You've seen zero white cards. Good. Go ahead. Mm. Alright, Shambling Vent. You do you. I Trust. would like to remand that. Alright, cool. Um... Hmm, actually. Hmm. Pass turn, stop on upkeep. I'm going to attempt to time walk you. Do you. I'm just tapping your lands down. Sure. I'm going to hope that's a time walk. Yep. Go ahead. Pass turn. Missed that land drop. No! Whale. Whale. Spoiler alert, it would have been real nice to have a land there. <laughs> deck does not like being shuffled, at least not by me. Commandeer pitching cryptic command time warp. Go ahead. <sighs> hmm. Let's build some resilience. We're gonna zero him, make a dude, make a dude Reno. Ah, Missy. Jace. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to brainstorm. Mm -hmm. Draw three. Put two back. And then we will pass the turn. Commandeer. 
Now, whereas I didn't value Laboratory Maniac, I may have overvalued Commandeer. <laughs> but in this match, it's a thing. It's for the Jace Mirrors, but we'll take it in Super Friends. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, I felt that. All right, eighteen. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Push the token. Oh, he's yeah, he's he's dead. <laughs> he's dead, Jim. Hit Jace for two. Yeah. That's the thing. Go ahead. I wonder what that one is. Alright, so Obvious extra turn is obvious. In related news, Jace is a card. Um, Jace, brainstorm me, bro. Um, yo. Let's see. I can do some. I can do some math. I think. Not you, definitely you, and you. So we're going to do it this way. I believe is correct. I believe that that's correct. Gideon, make a dude. Take my extra turn. Mm -hmm. I will... Brainstorm. Whee! Yikes. These are cards I really do not need. I would like to... Fetch. Uh -huh. Whee! Get that legacy brainstorm going on. Brainstorm, then fetch. I'm not entirely convinced that I've done that correctly each time, but for the sake of speed or just being tired. Yeah. Okay, so before we go attacking, let's make sure we're, we're fine. We're going to time warp. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, you're at 20 right now. Which means this is seven seven seven. Okay, so we're gonna plus. We put you down to thirteen. I think I got you actually. Um, you, even just with the information I have, I think I got you. So we're gonna take our extra turn. Draw. <laughs> Cards I really wanted to see. Brainstorm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Fetch. I don't think I counted for a fetch previously. So I should be at 18. I haven't gained any life, so yeah, I'm at 18, actually. Burrall. Mm -hmm. Time warp. Because yeah. cheaper. Plus. Alright, seven. Yeah, game. Yeah. There's another time warp and walk the eons, yeah. Yeah. Um, Commandeer, it's actually just a one-of, 
and I've been considering adding more. It's that good in matches like these. It's just in the sideboard. I've seen it in the main board. It's if the meta goes the way I think it is, it's just that good. But there's some matches where it's beyond dead, so I don't I don't keep it in everything. The card I cited out was Exhaustion, uh, which is just a stall the game a little bit uh, card, but it only keeps you from untapping your creatures and lands, not your planeswalkers, which are actually creatures. So, Exhaustion was not great. All those white cards, yeah, they're in the sideboard. Disenchant, which maybe shouldn't be Disenchant. Rest in peace, Stony Silence Terminus. These are not. This is not a match where I want any of those. Maybe Disenchant for cards like Bitter Blossom and Phyrexian Arena. Maybe. Um, but I, I thought I was pretty swell. Maybe I could have done two Exhaustion out, two Disenchant in. I thought I was okay where I was, though. Um, because, I've honestly, it's I've played you enough. I, uh, I, I know there aren't that many enchantments that are too impactful to this kind of deck. Uh, but, but a Pithing Needle or a Phyrexian Roker would have made me regret that very quickly. But that's how I did that. Uh, Commander in, Exhaustion out. Giga Drouse, underrated. It maybe should even be... The trick with Exhaustion is that it has colorless mana, and Giga Drouse only cares about blue mana, which is a little awkward for cards like Mika Koro, or Academy, or Sanitarium, or Gemstone Caverns half the time, etc. So, I, that's why there's a mix there. Uh, but otherwise, Giga Drouse is just better. And, yeah, that's, that's the deck. That's what I'm trying to do. That's this dumb deck. Uh, what, how did you sideboard? Yeah, the final. Oh, sorry. The only blue card in the sideboard. Surgical, yes. Yeah, surgical time warp is a thing. Yeah. Hmm. May not be great. I've even considered taking out Dictative Crucifix, though. I I don't know what I'd replace it with. Maybe more Giga Drowse and Exhaustion. But I think Dictate is probably where I want to be. But I've seen lists without it. And I am running cards like Mika Koro and Sanitarium. So maybe I could do it. Yeah, Rip. Rip is a thing. There's only one Snapcaster in this deck, though. Which is a heresy for a taking turns deck. Um, no, no, I think it's two now. But in any case, Rip is not as consequential, but it still it still matters. I still wouldn't want to see it. Uh, yeah, that's a thing.